So now let us work with pivot charts. Uh, in the previous lessons, we worked with pivot tables, but if you want graphical represent in, uh, representations, you can use a pivot chart instead. So I'm going to select this and gonna go to uh, insert right here. Over here on the left side, you see pivot tables, but over here on the right side, uh, around the center, you see pivot chart. So as the um, as I applied the same process as pivot tables. I'm just going to click this um, pivot charts right here and you can see that I can create pivot chart out of this table in a new worksheet. So I'm going to press OK. And over here you can see that there's the pivot table and the pivot chart. You see two data over here. Here you can see the axis values and legend over here because this is a graphical representation. So I'm going to add in a name so you can see the console name over here on the axis chart as you can see. I'm going to add in the price over here and you can see that immediately it shows a chart with all of the prices for different uh, consoles. So you can see that PS4 is the most expensive one out of the bunch. So you can also add in company and you can see that the company names are actually listed according to the, uh, the, um, according to the console right here. I can also move this to the lesson side and you can see that it actually changes the chart type. So now you can see that all of the um, orange ones that, that's from Nintendo, the blue one is from Microsoft and the gray one is from Sony, just like this. So I can also add in the category and I can see that all of them have been added and I can either move this to late legend and you can see that the category has been changed just like this. So Sony console, it has made a different color for this. Sony handheld is blue just like that. So the beautiful thing about uh, pivot charts over here is I can move this. Let me just move this to the side. You can also uh, change its design. So I can go to the design and you can see that there are many different designs that you can choose from. So you can apply dark theme and everything else just like this. And just like working with charts, you can simply go to change chart types and choose the one that you want. So let's say I want uh, this uh, this uh, sort of uh, design right here so I can simply go here stack column and press ok and there you go you get a different type of a design right there so you can simply move this out you can you can see that everything changes just like that for the category let me just move it over here so I'm gonna go into change chart type you can see that you can go for 3d charts like these as well and it'll actually create out the chart according to the pivot uh, data uh, that you stack over here can go to the line chart as well as you can see so you got 3d line chart over here you got the line chart and you got the surface chart as well as you can see so press ok and there you go there's the surface chart so that is how you can work with pivot charts inside of microsoft excel hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe